And now for the for the Channel 31 four day weather forecast. There are a few showers around Melbourne's metropolitan areas this evening and uh, showers approaching from the southwest. Showers will ease overnight and it will be cool and partly cloudy tomorrow with a brief shower or two but mostly fine. The overnight low will be 8 with a maximum of 17 tomorrow. Wednesday fine, low of 8 and a maximum of 20. And then on Thursday, a few showers developing with 11 as the minimum and 17 as the maximum. And the wonderful Friday, fine and mild, low of 18 and warm, very warm, maximum of 21. That's nice weather actually. Now before we go back to school, we have a news flash. Kylie's new CD's out, yay! And she's on every magazine in town and I'm just wrapped, I'm so excited. Are Are you excited? No, she's... Only oh, good okay. for it. Yeah, okay. you'd like to say hello to somebody? Yeah, I'd like to say hello to Terry from Hobart who's watching us on Optus Vision. Hi, Terry. Now, don't forget to grab a pen and paper because you're going to need to write things down in this next segment of Squeal. You can go now. Welcome to enter the center of my Super Mario adventure. My girl's trapped on the other side of town, so I'm moving and leaps and bound. Folks around my way think it's strange, but there's a villain to blame. Welcome back to Squeal, Bent TV on Channel 31, your station. <laughs> Carly Spirit, all the great kids watching out there, and I know there's one out there in particular. Hi, mm-hmm. Mark. Um, <laughs> now, of course, we are now going to join and we're going to meet some lovely people, of course, Colin being one of them from Minus 18s. Welcome, Colin. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll also meet um, a lovely young, uh, under 18 young boy, uh, almost a child we could say, but you're actually a strapping young man, Jared and his mother Ray. Welcome on to Squeal. Give me you, Colin, they scream and bring him, yeah, sweetheart. That's right. Now, minus 18, it's been going for how long now? Uh, two years now. Uh, this is, will be our 12th event. And it's a P flag thing? Yep, yeah, Parents flag. and friends of lesbians and gays? That's right. And um, the next one is on the 19th of September. At Silver's? Silver's Interact. And it's, sure it's, a gro- it's it. growing and growing, like every time you do one? How, yep. how are the numbers going with that? Uh, it's really good. Uh, every time we have one, the crowd gets bigger and bigger. So. And it's um, gay and lesbian kids as well as their friends? Yeah, welcome and bisexuals as well. and their friends, yeah. I always forget the bisexuals. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean any by that I don't care who anyone's doing anything with. Um, now we'll have a quick chat to you Jared. Was there a time, what did you think, do you know, do you think you were born gay or? Um, I can remember when, oh, when I was young I had a pink handbag. Good voice, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See mum, this is me and Tina's. Did you now punch it? <laughs> See, I'm... Uh, Look at her uh, face, uh, now. Uh, no, I'm just doing drag from four, but sorry, back to you, it's all two. I had a lovely pink handbag um, that carried my Matchbox cars in it. And um, oh. my uncle told my mother that I was going to be a poof, so this was a good foresight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was on the mark. Boy. Um, I can remember um, when I first uh, was in primary school and stuff thinking about it, but not really. I mean, nobody really you does. You don't know what's going um, on, exactly. Um, but... It sort of came out to me um, at the end of primary school, really, and the beginning of high school, and then I was quite sure by the end of the first year. Now, you came out to mum when you were 15. That was a very brave thing to do. A lot of people wait, and there's a lot of people out there who still don't even... Parents don't know, or they think their parents don't know. What, what, what was behind that? Was there any reason you've got a really honest relationship with your mother, or you just felt you had to... Um, it was no big deal to you, or...? Uh, it was. It, um, I'd been thinking about it for quite a while before I did it, and... Um, well, you, did you get the sweats up and go to do it a few times and not do it, or...? Um, I had, and then I thought... I was in the shower one night, I thought, no, I've got oh, to do it please. now. <laughs> 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 Later, <laughs> so I decided, no, now's the time. So I went downstairs and... Clothed? Got a, yes. <laughs> so I'm being a mom. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and that's when I did it. I found actually the hardest thing for me when it was coming out to my parents was not actually telling them because I knew their action was going to be absolutely fantastic anyway. It was actually bringing it up like how to say the words, oh by the way I'm gay, like just how to start the whole thing rolling. Throwing so I knew every once it was done it was going to be easy. It was just that saying it was what I found the hardest thing. Yeah, I actually never did it because um, I just thought, well, that obviously just go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't say like, 
I have to tell you right now, Mum, I'm a homosexual, because she just knew the whole way along, so that was all fine. Mum, how was it for you? Was it hard for you to cope, or did you sort of have a feeling that Jared was a gay child? I, I didn't have real, a real strong feeling, but apparently my husband had guessed it. He apparently brought him a Playboy when he was about 14. And, and you threw it in. Get that away from me, it's filth! <laughs> and what he did, my husband found it um, in the rubbish. And he thought, that's not normal for a 14-year-old male with running Should hormones. Should be covered in food. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so he went, he picked it out of the bin and he put it back. <laughs> and Steve found it again. And um, so when Jared told us, just Steve just sort of said, well, yeah, I'd sort of work that out anyway. And so. Dad's cool with it as well? He was fine. That's great. He so actually had, coped better than I did. I you think hadn't discussed it prior that... Oh, you know, this is what we think it might be, or anything. It was sort of more of a surprise to you then. I think we, when I look back now, yes, I, I did know, but that's not an issue, denial. is it? It's just you love your child well, he's, regardless. He was fifteen. I thought, well, you know, kids experiment, or they have full raging hormones, and anything's possible. But he um, he told us we love him, and you know, and Jared's a sort of mm. child that. If he said that's what he was, that's what he was. I've always said he will never... If he yeah. ever gets into trouble, it'll be because he knows exactly what he's doing. So we never... Sub oh, sorry, Doug. No, we sorry. never sub about him sort of coming out and mixing, because, you know, um, sometimes they, like, portray gays as being filthy, seedy underwear, which, of course, some of it is, but then, of course, a lot of it, a lot of it isn't. Were you sort of a bit worried about that? I was, I was worried about... Um, Going out and, and being really openly gay because of all the you know the gay bashing, bashing the people and stuff like that. that yeah. I didn't Geelong. want him to get Geelong. hurt. Geelong. Yeah, okay. I just didn't want him to get hurt because of who he is and what he is. Yeah. Like you can't change it. Um, yeah, I was about his safety. You know, it's still an issue with me that he's going to be safe. Yeah. That he so doesn't when... sort of perceive himself yeah. too open because otherwise he attracts bad attention. When he first told you, what was the first thing that went through your head? Like, what was your first reaction? Um, shit. You didn't do well. But you didn't blame <laughs> yourself. Drink. You didn't blame oh, yourself. Oh, yeah, or... you went through, oh, what did we do? Um, somewhere along the line, you know, the red bag when he was little. Pink um, bag, Mum. Pink, pink bag. Pink. pink bag when he was little. Um, yeah, what did we do wrong? But I thought, we haven't. We are as normal parents as as out there. If anything, we're more, my husband played football. Uh, we, You know, I was a strong sports person. Jared was brought up around Maybe a bit too strong, Mum, actually. No. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I, was, do you think you're born we, gay or do you think it's a, an environmental thing? I think you're born gay. I think you're born gay. Yeah. I, was, I really do. And uh, brought a lovely young son. Give your mum a hug. It's all gorgeous and you can watch this at home be cute so it'll be embarrassing in about three years' time. What we're doing now, we're crossing over to the news desk. Please, eyes and ears to Aaron and his raunchy young strumpets. Thanks, Tabby, and um, my two... Playmates here. Uh, the National Association of People Living with AIDS has expressed concern that the federal government's report into the welfare reform. The association is concerned that members may be required to work for their benefit. Minister Jocelyn Newman has said the decision will be made by the end of the year. Last Wednesday in Melbourne, um, the Victorian Parliament passed a bill making it illegal to discriminate against a transgendered person. The bill also makes it illegal to discriminate against a sexual orientation, which replaces the previous category oh, excuse me, uh, <laughs> of lawful sexual activity. Kayleen White from the Transgendered Victoria is quoted as saying, the community has been working on this for 25 years. <laughs> the organisers of the 2002 Sydney Gay Games will be paying special attention this week on Friday the 14th as the Olympic flame passes down Oxford Street. <laughs> Gary Gibson says that they'll be highlighting the 2002 Gay Games. And just... Oh, one of my little playmates here has got a coalition against trafficking in women is appealing the Yarra City Council... Harder, come on. Oh. God, what are you doing? <laughs> is appealing a decision... Oh. Oh. Okay, back to Tabby. We've got other things to do here. Oh, oh my God, if Jennifer Kite was in her... Oh, my Lord, I can't believe what's going on here. What we're going to do now, we're going to cross over to some footage of the last minus 18s, and it was Jaded Hart. I judged that. She was absolutely sensational, Colin. She got yep. 40 out of 40 from the judges. That's right. Here we go, minus 18s. Video footage. Take it away. That's true. Right. Her name is. She was in the first show. She won the first show. Her name is Jaded Hart. Make a welcome as she comes back on
Oh, the NAFTA. <laughs> and of course, that was Janet Hart doing Madison's Avenue. Who the hell are you? Jared, now, boys and girls, we had a bit of a chat while that was on, and of course, um, how did you go? Have you become up to friends and, and family members? Have you got brothers and sisters uh, and things? Yeah, my little brother knows. He's 14. He's known for a while now, and everybody at school knows. Teachers know everything. So, I did a. Um, Has it changed anything what, with your brother, with your relationship, or with the kids at school or anything? No, not at all. A few people at school have, haven't been so nice, but it's just water off a duck's back. I don't really care. And. Um, but teachers and that have been fine. I've had one teacher in tears telling her about my coming out story and everything, so it's been quite good. No, it's good. So there are a nice bunch of people in Geelong. Colin, all the, all, um, hope all goes well. <laughs> the next minus 18s, yes. of course, on the 19th of September at Silvers in Turak. We'll be back after this short break, so go and do something very, very sexy to yourself, perhaps. Put on a bit of lipstick and have a bit of fun. And we'll be back for our final segment of course and we're going to have some more chit chat and a bit more nonsense and don't forget of course Bitchin Kitchen starting next week at half past ten and I'll be in the first one with my mummy so you can tune in and watch it it'll be very very exciting because I'm in it see you after the break <laughs>